patterns of your brain when you're looking at an image to reconstructing the image. So the way this worked was they put human beings inside an fMRI machine. They had them look at images and figure out what the patterns are, like translate from tech, uh, image to brain patterns. And then of course they would hide the image. So this is a image of a giraffe that the computer has never seen. It's only looking at the fMRI data and this is what the computer thinks the human is seeing. Yeah. Now, to get state of the art, here's where the combinatorial aspect, why well, you can start to see these are all the same demo. To do this kind of um, imaging, the latest paper, the one that happened even after this, which is already better, uses stable diffusion, uses the thing that you use to make art. Like, what should the thing that you use to make art have anything to do with reading your brain? But of course, it goes further. So, in this one, they said, can they understand? Um, the inner monologue, the things you're saying to yourself in your own mind. Mind you, by the way, when you dream, your dream, like your visual cortex runs in reverse, so your dreams are no longer safe. Um, but we'll try this. So they had people watch a video and just narrate what was going on in the video in their mind. So a woman, she's hit in the back, she falls over. This is what the computer reconstructed the person thinking. See, a girl looks just like me, get hit in the back, and then she's gone off. So our thoughts like, are starting to be decoded. Yeah, just think about what this means for authoritarian states, for instance. Or, or if you want to generate images that maximally activate your pleasure sensor or anything else. OK, but let's keep going, right, to really get the sense of the combinatorics of this. How about, can we go from Wi-Fi radio signals, you know, sort of like the Wi-Fi routers in your house, they're bouncing off radio signals that work sort of like sonar, can you go from that to where human beings are to images? So what they did is they had um, you know, a camera looking at a space with people in it um, that's sort of like coming in from one eye. The other eye is the radio signals, so sonar from the uh, Wi-Fi router. And they just learned to predict, like, this is where the human beings are. Then they took away the camera. So all the AI had was the language of radio signals bouncing around a room. And this is what they're able to reconstruct real-time 3D pose estimation, right? So suddenly AI has turned every Wi-Fi router into a camera that can work in the dark, specially tuned for tracking living beings. <laughs> but, you know, luckily, that would require hacking Wi-Fi routers to be able to, like, do something with that. Um, but how about this? I mean, computer code, that's just a type of language. So you can say, and this is a real example that I tried, GPT, find me a security vulnerability, then write some code to exploit it. 